Good evening, everyone. Coming to you very humbled after yesterday. Missing not one, but two uh, of the uh, 200 strikeout people, which is always a uh, tougher category for me. Uh, I think one of the commenters suggests I play Sporkle, which I, I just started playing uh one of the uh, suggestions do it for 200 strikeouts and maybe i'll i'll learn some of these guys actually be able to remember them um crazy crazy how like carl hubble never got to 200 strikeouts but yeah learn uh learn and move on i guess but um anyway i'm gonna play again give you fine people hopefully some uh some fun baseball tidbits along the way or at least you can uh, revel in my misery if I mess this up again. So that's also an option. We got 3,000 strikeouts. I know 3,000 strikeouts a lot better than I know uh, 200 strikeouts in a season. So hopefully I can do okay on this one. Uh, let's see. We've got Yankees and Mets. We've got the New York teams on top. we got uh, a couple playoff teams on the side here, the Dimebacks and uh, the Rangers. We do have a Hall of Fame uh, category lined up with 3,000 strikeouts. That should be pretty straightforward. And then we got, uh, yeah, is any any Met that's been, that has gotten inducted in the Hall of Fame, any Yankee that's gotten inducted in the Hall of Fame. So, all right. And we can, we can play ball with this a little bit, so to speak. 3,000 strikeouts, I think, will be a little bit of a grade buster, especially with the Diamondbacks. I know of two, three. I know of three. That's going to be a grid buster. Let's start over here with someone who did not have 3,000 strikeouts. And that's Willie Banks. Now he works. That's a good number. Uh, let's see. Mets and Di I want to say Bernard Gilkey played for the played for the Diamondbacks. Pretty sure on that like in their inaugural season or something. Or very close to the beginning. He goes 1%. Not as good as Willie Banks. That's okay. My man, Daryl Hamilton. He's always good for a pretty good score when involving not the Brewers. Goes 0.1%. And then let's see, Yankees and Rangers. I think Joey Gallo is going to win that one. So we're obviously not going to pick him. Um, uh, Pudge Rodriguez, I think, will be a strong pick because he did play a half season for the uh, the Yankees there. Um, really, what these two teams share is three division series in four years that the Yankees just stomped on the Rangers on their w way to the World Series. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see, Kenny Rogers will also work. Fine pitcher. Um, Ruben Sierra works. I don't know how sneaky that'll be. I think people remember that Ruben Sierra was in with the Yankees actually for a few years there towards the end of his career. Like he was an MVP candidate early on with the Rangers in the 80s and early 90s. And it was kind of journeyman after that. Had a few different stints. He was actually traded for Cecil Fielder. I wrote about this in my my book in a chapter about Mariano Rivera. I wrote about how Ruben Sierra was traded from the uh, Yankees uh, to the Tigers in exchange for Cecil Fielder, and then Sierra was also back with the Yankees in the like early ish, early to mid aughts. He had a long career, so he'll work there. I just don't know how good a pick that would be. Uh, Kevin Brown will work. Kevin Brown ended his career with the Yankees, started his career, you know, played uh, has first 20 win season, at least with the uh, with the Rangers. I don't think he works for 3000 strikeouts. I don't think he had that many. Um, is there anyone better, though? How about Gossage? Gossage will work. Gossage played for both teams. Kenny Lofton will also work, but I think I'll go with Gossage. Goes 0.2 percent. I think Lofton is usually about. I, I'm predicting Lofton was probably two-ish for that. It's not. In neither of them were his, his prominent teams, but it's Kenny Lofton. I think the people who are seasoned in Immaculate Grid have Kenny Lofton's career pretty much down. So, 
All right, I'm pretty happy with point two out of a Hall of Famer, though. Speaking of Hall of Famers, need any Hall of Fame Yankee? Um, how about Hall of Fame second baseman Jim Gordon? Or wait, sorry, what was his name? Joe Gordon. I'm sorry, not Jim. Joe. Joe Gordon. He was a Yankee. Won the MVP in 42 over Ted Williams. Probably was not actually the MVP, but, uh, well, he won the award, so he was actually the MVP, but I'm going to select him. I know he got inducted on the Veterans Committee once like 10 years ago. Okay, point four. Mets will be a little bit trickier. Let's see. If I'm thinking of a Met in the Hall of Fame who's relatively obscure, I think Yogi Berra, I want to say, had some time with the Mets, as did Gil Hodges and Willie Mays. These are some early, early Mets who I think would work. I'm trying to remember, both Bear and Hodges managed the Mets. I'm fairly sure they both played for the Mets. Richie Ashburn was an, an inaugural Met. He'll work. Um, he had a north of 400 on base percentage in the Mets' dreadful 1962 season. Um, and then let's see. Was there anyone? Is there anyone who kind of poked their head? into Queens. Tom Glavin? No, that's five years of playing time, I think. And Glavin was with the Mets from like 03 to 07. That's not poking your head in. He, he would work. Um, He'd just probably be a pretty high percentage. Uh, Yeah, Seaver is going to be a really popular one. Piazza is going to be a, a pretty high scoring one. Um. Just occurred to me, Scherzer, who's obviously not in the Hall of Fame yet, but will be. He would work. He will work in when I play this in the future. Uh, but uh, six years in the future. But for uh, he'll also work for both of these for three thousand strikeouts. So he was one of the three I was thinking, of, like Johnson, Schilling, and him for three thousand strikeouts for the Diamondbacks, and then for the Rangers, him and. Man, maybe Fergie Jenkins. Now I'm second guessing myself on that. Then you just need anyone with 3,000 strikeouts and who's in the Hall of Fame over here. Uh, let's see. I think I'll go with what Burt Blylevin over here. Oh, and you got obviously Nolan Ryan <laughs> buried the lead there. Oh, no, uh, I'm not going to go with Bly Levin because Bly Levin played for the Rangers, and that's going to be a probably an optimal pick. Yeah, Scherzer's is too recent. You got Nolan Ryan. I want to say Ferguson Jenkins works, but I'm not 100% sure on that. He definitely worked for 200 strikeouts, so I'm not the hard way yesterday. Um, But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Bly Levin. He briefly was a ranger, and I think that'd be a, a decent percentage. So he gets two percent there. That's pretty good. Um Gaylord Perry got to three thousand strikeouts. So he would work here. That might be a good pick, actually. At least a decent one. He gets 2%. Pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to have to go with Scherzer there. Um, I don't think there's anyone besides him, Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling. And then, let's see, for the Mets Hall of Fame, it's, I'm going to go with Ashburn. Let's go with Richie Ashburn. Spell Richie Ashburn's name right. I go with Richie Ashburn. Goes one percent. 
Um, let me just make sure. I'm not. Webb obviously didn't play long enough, and I shouldn't think of great Dimebacks pitchers. I should try to think of someone else who just sort of popped into Arizona for a little bit. But, um, I mean, Max Scherzer started his career there. Um, Granky is not quite at 3,000 strikeouts. I think when I, I think, and I think he's, I, I don't know if he's announced formally his retirement. I don't know if he's got any aspirations of come back next year, but he's at like 2980 or something along those lines. Um, he, he would otherwise work there. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I just thought of Randy Johnson, <laughs> But not in a obviously the four time in a row Cy Young winner for the Dimebacks. I was just like, hey, Randy Johnson came back to the Dimebacks later in his career, and for whatever reason, like the Dimebacks updated logo tricked it in my head to thinking that was like a separate team. <laughs> so I was just like, Randy, yeah, that's not not a thing because I'm 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 working my way up in my head up the odds. I, I don't think there is uh, going to be a better option. So let's just go Scherzer, and I think it'll still be like twenty percent, but. Oh, no, it wasn't even that high. It was 11%. Okay, so that's that's what most of my uh, mind was. There's there's no way that's... Well, we can just math this out, right? So if Randy Johnson's at 58 and Scherzer's at 11, that means that Kurt Schilling was at 31. So that was the best option there. Uh, Nolan Ryan crushing it at 71. And the other people I said were Scherzer, Bly Levin... Who else who else would have worked? This will be fun. That's Ryan. That's Bly Levin. Oh, is that Fergie Jenkins? Did he work? He did work. 3192. So Ferguson Jenkins works. And then Gaylor Perry spent some time in uh, with the Rangers. Okay. It's probably people who, uh, when I post this, are going to be screaming, no, no, go go Perry for the Rangers, and then you can dump Bly Levin in for the, uh, the others. But all right. Only 19 people, though. So, I mean, there's a pretty limited selection to choose from. I'm pretty happy with the selections I had, I mean, 2 and 1% or whatever it was. Um. Or I think it was two two. It was two two and eleven. So pretty good. Um, how many Hall of Famers have played with the Mets at one point or another? If this is just a list of Hall of Famers, I'm not gonna. Okay. Uh, yeah, Roberto Almar. I was correct on Hodges and Barra. Probably could have picked one of those. Murray. Oh yeah, Warren Spawn briefly played for the Mets. I did know that. Okay, cool. Ashmore was a pretty good pick though at one percent. So there's only fifteen choices and you get one that one percent. That's pretty good, I think. All right. Well, I am uh happy with that. Eleven with uh eleven or eighteen with eleven coming on one uh one player. It's not bad. Uh and I'll be back at tomorrow. I'm gonna watch a little playoff baseball tonight, I think. And uh you all have a great night. Peace.